Hello, Mioni here, and today I've got another Glamour video for you. I know some of you enjoy watching these, so Rose came up with this one to share with you all. We had the topic of trying to make Glamours based on characters from the Rooster Teeth animation series Ruby come up in general conversation, and Rose thought of trying to make, I think, one of the most iconic villains of the show, Roman Torchwick, in-game. It started with a hat and ended up looking like this. So in short and sweet fashion, no pun intended, let's get right to the glamour. Realistically, there are no real restrictions on character, gender, nor class on this glamour, which is something I'm trying to go for more and more due to request, so more people can actually use it. This set is however made up of some rarer items, and some not so much, but can be used as of level 1 on any class. Let's get Roman Torchwick on a side-by-side -side here for comparison. The hat then, as you may recognise, is the High House Cloche. This is usually obtained through Palace of the Dead spoils, but this can also be bought fairly cheaply on your market board. This is the main attraction for the character design and really sets off the tone for the rest of the set. The chest is the Scion Adventurer's Jacket. This is actually obtained through the main storyline and as such you should have it during the completion of the Heavensward expansion. The gloves are the Expeditioner's Gloves. Again, this is a Palace of the Dead spoils drop, or you can obtain these again relatively cheaply on your market board. These are dyed jet black in this example. The pants are the Leonhardt bottoms, part of the Squall Lionheart set, obtained through the Veteran Reward Program for being subscribed for a set amount of time to the game. Go to Jonathus in Old Gridania if you're unsure whether you have these or not. And finally, the shoes are the best man's gaiters. These can be obtained from an NPC tailor shop very close to the Etherite in Uldar Steps of Nald, here on this piece of footage for you on screen. These are dyed cobalt brown in this example. The set is simple, but if you want to finish it off and you just happen to play White Mage, then a simple maple crook can really add to the Roman Torchwick cane look due to its natural white finish. Either way, I think this is near to closest you can get to this set being complete. The only thing I think you could really change would be perhaps getting Snow's chess piece from the Mog Station store instead, but I think they're both tied for what would look best, and at least this one actually has a necktie and I don't have to spend money on it. If you enjoyed this video, please consider liking it. Check out the channel for many more videos like this and more from Final Fantasy XIV. Thank you very much to Rose for this video idea, and indeed if you want to follow more of us, you can find us on the Twitters at Meoniace. Thank you kindly for watching, and I'll see you all next time.